Cornish mythology is the folk tradition and mythology of the Cornish people. It consists partly of folk traditions developed in Cornwall, UK, and partly of traditions developed by Britons elsewhere before the end of the first millennium, often shared with those of the Breton and Welsh peoples. Some of this contains remnants of the mythology of pre-Christian Britain. There is much traditional folklore in Cornwall, often tales of giants, mermaids, buka, piskies or the Pobelveen little people, these are still popular today, with many events hosting a droll teller to tell the stories, such myths and stories have found much publishing success, particularly in children's books. The fairy tale Jack the Giant Killer takes place in Cornwall. Many early British legends associate King Arthur with Cornwall, putting his birthplace at Tindigel, the court of King Mark of Cornwall, uncle of Tristan and husband of Isolde, the most famous Cornish lovers. <inaudible> Overview Cornwall shares its ancient cultural heritage with its Brythonic cousins Brittany and Wales, as well as Ireland and parts of England such as neighbouring Devon. Many ancient tales of the bards, whether the Arthurian cycle, Tristan and Isolde or the Mabinogion take place in the ancient kingdom of Cernive between Greater and Lesser Britons with a foot on either side of the British Sea more Bretonic, more Brys. Part of Cornish mythology is derived from tales of seafaring pirates and smugglers who thrived in and around Cornwall from the early modern period through to the 19th century. Cornish pirates exploited both their knowledge of the Cornish coast as well as its sheltered creeks and hidden anchorages. For many fishing villages, loot and contraband provided by pirates supported a strong and secretive underground economy in Cornwall. Legendary creatures that appear in Cornish folklore include buckus, knockers, giants, and piskies. Tales of these creatures are thought to have developed as supernatural explanations for the frequent and deadly cave-ins that occurred during 18th-century Cornish tin mining, or else a creation of the oxygen-starved mines of exhausted miners who returned from the underground. The knocker or buka Cornish is the Welsh and Cornish equivalent of Irish leprechauns and English and Scottish brownies. About two feet tall and grizzled, but not misshapen, they live beneath the ground. Here they wear tiny versions of standard miners' garb and commit random mischief, such as stealing a miner's unattended tools and food. They were often cast a small offering of food, usually the crust of a pasty, to appease their malevolence. Many landscape features, from the barren granite rock features on Bodmin Moor, to the dramatic cliff seascape, to the mystical form of St. Michael's Mount are explained as the work of giants and English tales such as the early 18th century Jack the Giant Killer may recall much older British folk traditions recorded elsewhere in medieval Welsh language manuscripts and closely related to the folk traditions of Dartmoor in neighbouring Devon. Old Michaelmas Day falls on the 11th of October, the 10th of October according to some sources. According to an old legend, blackberries should not be picked after this date. This is because, so British folklore goes, Satan was banished from heaven on this day, fell into a blackberry bush and cursed the brambles as he fell into them. In Cornwall, a similar legend prevails, according to which the devil urinated on them. Weather lore. Mist from the hill, brings water for the mill, mist from the sea, brings fine weather for me. Lundy plain, sign of rain. Current in North Cornwall where Lundy Island is normally visible. Topic ENY's Tregarthen Nelly Slogat of Padstow devoted much of her attention to Cornish folklore and legend. She collected and recorded many stories about the Pisky folk, fairies of Cornish myth and legend. She published most of her works in this category under her better known pen name of ENY's Tregarthen. Books The Doll Who Came Alive 1973 ISBN 0-381-99683-2 2 Pixie Folklore and Legends reprinted 1995 ISBN 0-517-14903-6 Padstow's Fairy Folk paperback North Cornwall Fairies and Legends London Wells Gardner Darton & Co 1906 via Internet Archive the House of the Sleeping Winds and Other Stories 1911, The White Ring 1949, topic North Cornwall Dosemary Pool is identified by some people with the lake in which, according to Arthurian legend, Sir Bedivere threw Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake. Another legend relating to the pool concerns Jan Tregeagle. The Beast of Bodmin has been reported many times but never identified with certainty. Doom Bar According to legend, the mermaid of Padstow created the Doom Bar as a dying curse, after being shot by a sailor. However, there are many different versions of the story and the precise details are unclear. 
Some versions start by stating that she used to guide ships up the estuary and others that she would visit and spy upon ships in harbor, yet more tell of how she used to sit upon a rock at Hawker's Cove. She then met a man, and one fell in love with the other. One version explains that she was love-sick, and tried to lure him beneath the waves, however he escaped by shooting her. Another version suggested the man, Tristram Bird, fell in love with her and asked her to marry him, though she refused. In his rage he shot her. Another suggestion is that a fisherman, Tom Yeo, shot her because he thought she was a seal. The ending of the legend is generally similar. With her dying breath, she leveled a curse at Padstow, or at the harbour itself, stating that the harbour will be desolate or unsafe. With that, a great storm came, wrecking many boats and creating the great sand bank known as the Doom Bar. Topic Penwith Within the bounds of Gulville Parish lies the disused Ding Dong Mine, reputedly one of the oldest in Cornwall. Popular local legend claims that Joseph of Arimathea, a tin trader, visited the mine and brought a young Jesus to address the miners, although there is no evidence to support this. At Zenor there is a legend of the mermaid of Zenor and at Mousehole, Tom Bakak is a legendary fisherman from the village who according to legend risked his life to go out and fish and managed to come back with enough fish to feed the village until the storm was over. All the fish was put into a big pie, and the pie called Stargazy Pie. The Merry Maiden's Stone Circle at St. Burian, the local myth about the creation of the stones suggests that 19 maidens were turned into stone as punishment for dancing on a Sunday. Dan's Main translates as Stone Dance. The Pipers, two megaliths some distance northeast of the circle, are said to be the petrified remains of the musicians who played for the dancers. A more detailed story explains why the pipers are so far from the maidens. Apparently the two pipers heard the church clock in St. Burian strike midnight, realized they were breaking the Sabbath, and started to run up the hill away from the maidens who carried on dancing without accompaniment. These petrifaction legends are often associated with stone circles, and is reflected in the folk names of some of the nearby sites, for example, the Tregeziel dancing stones, the nine maidens of Boskidnon, as well as the more distant hurlers and pipers on Bodmin Moor. Topic see also Cornish festivals Peter and the Piskies, Cornish folk and fairy tales Culture of Cornwall List of Cornish saints Arthur and Selywig, Pendragon, Bear Chief Dragon of the Britons Tristan and Isult, A Cornish Love Story Lioness and Wise, The Cornish and Breton Atlantis Jan Tregeagle William Henry Painter Matter of Britain Corinius, Mythical Founder of Cornwall Cormoran, The Giant and His Wife of St. Michael's Mount Hunting of TWRCH Trewith, The Cornish Boar of Welsh Legend Jack the Giant Killer Blunderbor Buka, the Spirit of the Sea Mark of Cornwall alias Connemore, the mythical and historical king, Hound of the Sea Magnus Maximus, Maxon Wledig, historical late Roman emperor and mythical founder of Brittany History of Brittany, the brother nation over the sea Welsh mythology topic References topic Further reading topic External links Legends of Cornwall's Stones Gareth Evans, 2005 Witchcraft History of Witchcraft in Cornwall